Yeah, but let us know we about station. It's out on 7-9. Your dirty J. Nick Slides got on the radio. You're not tuning in, man. Miss JoJo's in the building. And she fine as fine. What's up, baby? <laughs> What's up, sweet thing? What's up? Now, look, I'm looking on Love & Hip Hop. Everybody got a man, but you got a man on Love & Hip Hop? I don't. What happened? Honestly, I have so much other shit going on on the show that I just didn't have room for a man this year. I would have been a bae. I could have, I, you know, you know, I play the background. You could be a boss lady. It's all good. I let I you mean, shine. I mean, it's always season two. Sweet you know? thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> game, you know what I'm saying? You can always come in season two. Yeah, you talking about, man. So mm-hmm. look, so look, where the hell did Shay Johnson come from? She's not even from Miami. Right. I, I don't but, I don't understand that aspect of how loving hip hop just takes certain people and places them here, places them there because I just feel like, you know, I've been seeing her a lot of promos, but you know, I'd rather look at you. You know what I mean? Um well And I got love for Shay. I ain't no ain't no ain't no shade. But I, if my preference I'd rather look Well, at you. she's dating Pleasure P. Okay. So Pleasure P and his whole little group or whatever, they're a main attraction on the show because they have a name. Mm-hmm. You know, they've been they, in the industry well, for a long time. So Right. Um she has a lot of stuff going on with a lot of different men on the show. Mm. So she has stayed Pretty relevant. You, is girl. you know, like yeah. I, I know it's a lot of surprises for you guys, but there's other people coming on the show with her. So she's been on TV for years. So she's a veteran. You know, we're all new to TV. Right. I don't, I, I veteran, learned. Veteran reality show. Yeah, and reality show. Okay. So all of you us. Ninety-nine percent of the show is new to right. reality TV, so we didn't really know how to come up on this reality stuff, and okay. she did. So, so, so clearly, from what I've seen, just like as far as snippets and and um, and just different pieces of the show, um, your family is pretty well off, right? Okay, why loving hip hop when you can when it seems, and I'm just looking at the watch and the earrings and just been knowing <laughs> you for a long time. Y'all probably could buy the network if you wanted to. Correct. Why? Why be a part of the network? Um. Well, at first, at first, I didn't try to bring my family into this. Mm-hmm. You know, at first, I wanted to do it because I want to build my own. I don't want to live off of my father's money for the rest of my life. Okay. Like, I, it's not even in my personality. I right. want to be like my dad. So I took my own wave. Like, I started styling. You know, my dad actually, like, he stopped talking to me for a couple of years because he didn't agree in the decisions that I made. He didn't want me to be a stylist. He didn't want me to have a clothing store, be on Love & Hip Hop, nothing. Mm-hmm. He wanted me to be a lawyer. Mm-hmm. And that's not what I was trying to do. So, you know, I took on this whole thing. And when I saw Love & Hip Hop, I saw it as an opportunity for me to grow in different ways. At right. the end of the day, it's TV. It's a commercial for me. And that's how I can expand my business. Now, when we started filming, you know, my parents were going to be on it, you know, here and there. But what happened was when the show actually came around, because it took two years. Right. You know, at first we we shot the reel, and I had a whole different type of storyline. Right. And then when the show came back around a year later, it was a whole other situation. My parents were going through, like, a crazy divorce. I couldn't even get my parents in the same room to film without wow. them killing each other. So, you know, Mona was like, you might as well just shoot your reality. Like, like Well, that's like a question what, what Mona would do. Let me just use the bullshit going on in your life to air it so I can make some money. I mean, yeah. That's and for me, it's like, show. I mean, I keep it real. You, I, I'm transparent as hell. Right. So, yeah, whatever. If I'm going through this, y'all can film it. I'm not, I don't care what people say. Okay, so, people, so, like, so, so even with that, like, how does it feel? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just the, or, I mean, you you being, actually, because it's from the real, it seemed like you was kind of like almost put in between, like, your mom and your dad, like, choosing a side. Your dad saying basically like, yo, if you... You, if you can get everything, but you better not be like your mom and not want to give your mom. So how does that make you feel like as just as a person being in the middle? Because you are still a daughter, a child. Um, them. Honestly, last year was a really tough year. Like when I first saw the trailer, the day it came out, when I saw it, I was crying. Mm. You know, a lot of people were like, oh, excited and stuff. Like I was crying because it was like a fucked up place for me. Right. Like still till today, I'm like still struggling. Like, I can't get over a lot of stuff. I don't want to talk too much about the details, but it was really hard for me. 